Anyways, guys, today, um, we're going to our dad's, <sighs> and hopefully other things. Yeah. Last time we did that, we, we, we went to Bucky's. Good times. Yeah. Right. Let's cut to the chase. <laughs> it got darker really fast. Waiting patiently. Yeah, we're waiting patiently to get picked up. <laughs> He's, uh... I mean, he really, honestly, after he leaves, he should be here in, like, five minutes because his car is so fast. Honestly, it should only take him five minutes to get here, but, yeah. With the way he floors it. That's true. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, Chelsea's looking through her voicemail right now because we're bored. <laughs> Bro. Adam, do you think that man up on the hill would mind if I sprayed around that mailbox uh, post out there and we won't have to weed eat and clean around it? I'll talk with you later. <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor old lady probably thought she was talking to an Adam or something. Wait, was that his name? I think so. Adam, do you Yeah, that's so sad. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> we never got that message. Oh, <laughs> See, she just bad. sent it to the wrong number. <laughs> now I feel bad. Wait, she looked through more. Okay. For the video. Except not from mine, because uh those might be cringy. Then my beers. Let me skip by them. Oh no, the debt collector. <laughs> the, de <laughs> the debt collector. <laughs> Man, that makes me feel bad, though. The poor thing thought that she was talking to someone. <laughs> well, so she told me she knew what number she was calling. Because they had to say, this number is not available. And then, you know, it would say the number and then go to voicemail. So she had to have knew what number she was talking to, unless she just don't know. Or maybe this guy, Adam, had a similar phone number to you. Maybe either similar or maybe he had the number at one point because I've got messages before of people asking about an Adam. So I feel like she's going through her voicemails. <laughs> hey, you, you... you need to hear this one I got. It made can me you, sad. Can you put on speaker? Yeah. Yeah, put on speaker. It's it's really <laughs> it's kind of funny though. Was it this one? I think. Wait, that made you sad? Yeah, because Adam <laughs> didn't get the message. The poor, the poor, <laughs> the poor sweet old lady, the poor elder. <laughs> See, she said Adam. I wonder if it's me, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> That makes me sad because he never got Wait, the message, and what? now she's probably she doesn't know if she needs to weed eat or not. <laughs> oh, God. Her. If the man on the mountain's gonna weed eat or whatever. The she's man doing. on the mountain. God. <laughs> Up on the hill. <laughs> I mean. Wait. Wait. Is that an unknown caller? Yeah. Wait. There's still a number yeah, there. Don't, 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 just, just Nine to around that mailbox. God, uh, Post yeah, out there and we won't have to weed eat and clean around it. Now how's she supposed you... to know if she has to weed eat or not? When did you get that voicemail? September first. <laughs> <laughs> well bro, her 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 freaking yard's probably a jungle at this point. <laughs> True. What's this?
Yeah, that's just silence. Okay. I'm a different number. Yeah. And why would that old lady be calling a, <laughs> an unknown number? You think she, I don't care about your automobile X. He's playing on the like, right speaker. From to let you ah! know that your existing account is eligible to get up to 60% off on your monthly bill. In order to redeem the offer, kindly call us back at... Eight no, 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 well, poor old lady, man. She just wanted to know if she needed the weedy, and she was trying to get the guy from up on the hill. <laughs> That's so sad. Now her, now her yard probably looks like a jungle. <laughs> She's still trying to get that call back. <laughs> She's still trying to get that call back. Oh my god. She look at more. That's so. This should just be a video of Chelsea looking through her voicemails. Yes, it should. Let me find Except not for me, read. not not mine. <laughs> then why not? Mine are probably embarrassing. <laughs> probably one like, involved in an automobile I don't accident. care about your automobile accident. <laughs> 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 Man, I've yeah, we're still things. waiting for Dad to come here because he's taking forever. Taking a sweet time. Even though he has a fast car and it's like already noon, it's twelve thirty-five. This is it with a message prompt. Hopefully our recovery associate. This is a call from the debt collector. Please call. What? Did I say recovery associate? <laughs> it's the debt collector. <laughs> what? The debt collector. Because <laughs> Chelsea has debt. Wait, that's a number. I shouldn't play that. Wait, you didn't get the full thing, right? I, you don't think so. Okay, good. This is it. My God, we have... <laughs> well, there are names now, Lee. This is Esmond. Is that the same voicemail twice? Oh my god. Dude, she sent you it twice? Is that like <laughs> three times? <laughs> We're gonna just listen to an old one. Or extend it. Press 8 to speak to a cu Wait, okay. customer service agent and go over options. Press the number 9 if you are declining coverage or wish not to be reminded again. <laughs> I wish not to be reminded again. That's a minute and 22 seconds, but it, he stops talking after the 10 minute, I mean the 10 second <laughs> mark. <laughs> so it's just a um, If you are declining wait, wait. Hi, this is If you are declining coverage, extend it. Present message about your. <laughs> I think we have <laughs> period of silence. Hi, this is Mark with an important message about your automobile service contract. Seems like the time to renew Mark, or extend uh, your service contract NPC? has expired <laughs> or will be expiring shortly. If you would like to keep coverage or extend it, press 8 to speak to a customer service agent and go over options. Press the number NPC Z world. <laughs> this you, that might be you. It probably is. We'll ignore that. <laughs> are to inform you that your vehicle's coverage may have lapsed and you're responsible for all maintenance required on your vehicle. We're Dang. offering you one last opportunity to extend or renew your vehicle's coverage. To speak with a coverage specialist to go over your options, press 1. Again, please press 1 to speak with a coverage specialist or press... A coverage two. specialist? <laughs> Dang. The coverage. The coverage specialist. The coverage. The coverage is specialist. What? Parkinson's disease. Or if you no longer wish to contact Parkinson's disease. Or if you no longer. You don't start a message like that. Parkinson's disease. Or if you no longer wish to be contacted, press two to be removed from future communication. Parkinson's disease. Or if you no longer wish to be contacted, press two to be removed from future communication. What is she talking about? Great question. Jeez, all these people sound like NPCs. Or if you no longer wish <laughs> to be contacted, press 2 to be removed. You might want to call him real quick and press 2. <laughs> or extend it. 
I don't care about my car's extended warranty. <laughs> Or if you no longer wish to be... <laughs> no, half of these are the same thing. The baby formula and Enfamil or Simulac... <laughs> the baby formula. ...exercising enterocolitis, a devastating disease that primarily affects the intestines. Ew, what's wrong? If your child was born premature and born after 1991 and was formula. diagnosed with necrotizing enterocolitis, press 1 now to get more information or press 2 to be removed. They probably made that up. The Timothy formula. <laughs> You gotta get that baby formula. <laughs> Were you or a loved one involved in an automobile accident I've within been the last over 24 months? you already. They're probably just using that to scam you. Probably. Hello, this is Maddie with the Processing Center. I'm calling today because I'm looking at your most recent reported income for your federal student loan. <laughs> oh, my student loan! <laughs> is that real? <laughs> is that like your real student loan? <laughs> A portion of your loan, so but we need oh, to submit an college. application as soon as possible. It's urgent that Bro, you go talk to Yellowbird about this, man. If Maybe he'll have some student call. loans he needs to pay off. I don't know. Hey, Scott, this is, this is Mike reaching out with BHG Financial. Just wanted to touch base with you in regards to your recent loan. Touch base. You submitted online for 65000 More loans. The auto-generated monthly payment it did seem a little bit high to me, but that was just a rough estimate based on the limited information that we asked of you. So i just like the opportunity to provide you with an updated payment amount, as well as rates, terms, and conditions. Keep in mind this all comes to you at no cost, no obligation, and absolutely no harm to your... <laughs> Killer Roundup. Or if you no longer wish to be contacted... All of these are the same. <laughs> Hi there. I'm calling uh... you... <laughs> <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> That's funny. Hi there. I'm calling oh. you from Comcast Xfinity to like. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Comcast. <laughs> Comcast. Comcast sucks. What? Bro, she's speaking so quiet. Scott <laughs> <laughs> What'd she do? Get a talk right in the mind? <laughs> she was like, <laughs> She kind of shut the phone Come up. Her, she probably shut the phone up her mouth. And she was like, nur, 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 nur. No, that's a phone oh, number. Is it on speaker? Yeah. It's literally on speaker. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Collins Scott Jones. Contact reference for David Schaefer. Ah. Uh, well, ain't no one know what you're saying, lady. Yep. Oh, this has been straight 11 minutes of you looking at voicemails. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. That's all this vlog's gonna be. Hi there. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that scared me. Why does that keep on? That scared me. <laughs> Hi there. This is gold. <laughs> Again, putting the phone up your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, ain't no one. Hello, this message is for Dylan. Dylan, my name is Michelle Happy. Hello, Michelle. Hi, Dylan, you if you're watching business this. partner with Western. I'm trying to reach you in regards to your current absence this week. If you could give me a call oh, back, I'd really appreciate it. Oh, someone's in trouble. <laughs> Dylan. Hello, this message is for Dylan. Dylan, my name is Michelle Hatton, the HR. The 910 kid? With West. I'm trying to reach you in regards to your current absence this week. Current it's absence. Uh-oh, someone's in trouble. Uh-oh, someone's going to lose their job. Hi, Dylan. Hi, Dylan. Wait, was that a different one? Hold on a second. That was a different one. Hi, Dylan. This is Michelle from the department. I'm calling regarding your that. current absences from work. Wanted to touch base with you regarding that. Um, you can give me a call back. I oh, feel bad for Dylan. He's probably having it hard right now. Bro, Dylan's not even getting these messages. <laughs> <laughs> How's he supposed to know he's been absent for too long? He's probably fired at this point. When was that sent? Uh, September. Wait, was it September? Wait, hold on. I mean, was it this year? That's not it. 
Oh, she was having home on the... That's not it. <laughs> Hi, Dylan. October 7th, 2022. 2022? <laughs> that was over a year ago. Jesus. Poor Dylan. Oh, man, Dylan. Oh, man. He probably had a wife and kids. Hi there. I'm calling... God, will you stop messaging me? Hi there. <laughs> Glad to hear it. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Hi there. Glad to hear it. NPC. <laughs> she got the she got the limited speech on. <laughs> oh my god. Glad to hear it. At GBC Business Group, we starts? handle your company's yeah. incoming and outgoing customer calls at a very cheap rate. These phone calls include sales, customer service calls, order taking, or any other problem your customer may have with your products or services. You so if you're interested me. in getting one of these services from us, please say yes. Yes. You know, I've only ever heard, like... I've only ever gotten, like, at least five voicemails on my new phone number, but on my old one, I had, like, a lot... Oh, yeah. Remember the to the police. <laughs> and then some kids saying, Don't to a seat. Don't to a seat. Don't to a seat. random ones like that. That'd be fun. That would be funny. I used to get like the most randomest ones. Is this the hi there again? Hi there. Yeah, it is. I don't try to <laughs> <laughs> If it's 37 seconds long, I'm going to assume it's high there. Hi there. Shh. Hello? Hello? Is that an unknown caller? Yeah. If it's an unknown caller, why does it have a number? Yeah, it shouldn't do that. Because then I want to... Because that defeats the whole purpose of it being unknown. <laughs> that whole voice message was just a beep. A beep. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it was an NPC robot. <laughs> it's a background noise. <laughs> Wait, play Hi, John. Is on speaker? Yeah. John. That's all I hear is hello, John. Hello, John. Hello, John. Hello. <laughs> it's like they don't know what they're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, John. God, you have so many voicemails. Jeez. You've got this is Lynn Bendick with a message from Port. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Hi there. Fully recovery associates. This is a call from a debt collector. Please call. No, in. it's the debt collector again. <laughs> Sounds like they're saying a debt collector. I heard associate shot. Associate shot. <laughs> Association. <laughs> I wish it would get more like the old lady. That one was funny. Yeah. The way she talked, it sounded like uh, whenever we would go up to moms as parents. <laughs> that's what those people sound like. Oh, if you guys remember in the Thanksgiving nice. vlog, the trampoline, that's where we were. Yeah. That's what those people sound like. <laughs> that's that's what our relatives sound like. Yeah. This is Lynn Bendick with a message from Portfolio Recovery Associates. Mm -hmm. This is called. <laughs> that was the same one. I just wanted to hear it again. The debt collector. The debt collector. Hi there. I don't want your voice. <laughs> that one was 39 seconds, so I thought maybe it was something else. But nope, it was hi there. Is, is the ones that are the hi there always 37? Yeah. It's probably the same thing. Hey, Tammy, this is Kirk Naylor. Give me a call when you get a chance. Thanks. We really do live in the holler, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> we do. Is it a Tennessee number? Yeah, that one was. Oh my god. Yeah, guys, we're in Tennessee. Which one did I just play? Was it this one? Hey, Candy. Yeah, it was. Candy? <laughs> What's up, Reese's Peanut Butter? Kirk Snailer, not Tennessee. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> just, whoa. Just, whoa. Wait, He's wait. gonna leak our address. <laughs> You didn't hear that? I mean, oh, it, I mean, it's a city. So. It's a city. True. I mean, I don't know. I might bleep out the name. We don't live there. Yeah, we don't live just, there. Just we like, don't live in... That was just scary. We don't live in Canuck. Canuck. <laughs> Canucks. Let me get a second. 
No hurry, big man. Thanks. No hurry, big man. <laughs> no hurry, big man. No hurry, big man. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Sandra calling from elementary school, and Brian has not been picked up yet. <laughs> no. no, Brian! Brian. <laughs> oh my goodness, what's kick on with? Bro, it didn't even go to the right, to the right number. <laughs> I hope we got picked up. <laughs> Bro, that's, that's <laughs> terrible. I sure hope someone picked them up. I need to listen to that again. There was a name of a school, though. I might have passed them up. Wait, okay. Brian has not been picked up yet. Brian has not been picked up yet. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, in the, uh, well, I only heard elementary school. Yeah, I just can't really hear what's being said. Was it in Tennessee? Is it, yeah. It's a Tennessee number, yeah. Hi there. Brian hasn't been picked up yet. Hi there. Brian has not been picked up yet. <laughs> doesn't even receive it to the right number. Wait, when was that? Um, um. Probably last year. March 22nd. This year, actually. Oh. That wasn't that long ago. Wasn't that long ago? What you Brian's probably... still waiting in the school to this day. He's still waiting. It's been like a whole new school year. He's still waiting to get picked up. <laughs> <laughs> He's been a summer vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <I can't> <laughs> he spent his whole spring break, his summer break, and now his fall break, just standing there, just waiting to get picked up. Oh my God. I wonder how that conversation went, being like, "Yeah, sorry, I think we sent it to the wrong number. We actually don't know." And then Brian is probably just like, "It's an elementary school, so he's a little kid, so he probably doesn't know his parents' number." Oh, that's so sad. And we got received to your number. <laughs> Poor Brian, oh my god. Hi, this is Jen. I'm not sure if I have the right number, but I'm looking to buy another house in your neighborhood within the next couple of weeks. No, you don't got the right number. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jen. Is this you? That might be you. Oh, wait, I think I'm I don't know why I sent you so many voicemails. <laughs> I'm all caught up. Oh, you're all caught up? Aww. Then he still ain't here. Then he still ain't here. Isn't there like you can look at old ones? Mm. Or is it just... This is as far back as it'll go. Aw, oh, man. Wow, that took a whole 21 minutes. Dang. <laughs> Poor uh, Brian. Poor old lady. <laughs> who just wanted to win the yard. Um, and F the debt collectors. The stupid debt collectors. And Hi Jen there. trying to buy a house in the neighborhood. <laughs> never got the right number. I've never been jump scared more in my life than I have been by Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> it even got me at one point. <laughs> oh, I love that.
Would you like a printed receipt? <laughs> Thank you for shopping with us. You're not welcome. Yes, Let's get the big one. Okay. Breadstick? Breadstick. Okay. And a large paper only thing. Yeah. That's a little spell. They're feeling very generous to put two peppers and two parmesans. See right there? Yeah. Ain't that what that is? Cheese. What? They look like parmesan. Oh wait, no, is that Parmesan? Yeah, oh. I gave it to her already. Oh. My bad. I thought this was, that's actually salt. I don't know, I'm, I, I'm, I got it confused, I mean. I got some hot pepper. Yeah, wait, is this pepper? Okay, crushed pepper, pepper, pepper. And then I don't know anymore, it made pepper. sense in my head. It made, it made sense in my head, man. What's the difference between pepper and pepper? That one's, Got more of a kick. This is like a flat, like, you know, that's that one, yeah, it's it's hot. It's it got more of a, yeah. that one's more hotter. It's got more of a kick to it. <laughs> so that's par. Okay, I don't know why, but I thought that was salt. But that's actually parmesan. This is salt. But they were feeling. They still were feeling generous. We just got done eating some good pizza. <laughs> Have it in the box. Yes.
champagne. I guess we're going to go with it. I guess we're going to go with it. God, it's so cold out here. It wasn't that, it wasn't this cold <laughs> since we had been in and out. It feels kind of good. It does feel good. It's like fall. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Feels like October again. Anyways, y'all, that's going to close it off. Um, kitty.